A Clay County judge orders an 84-year-old man to stand trial for shooting a teen who mistakenly went to his front door. I'm John Holt. I'm Lauren Halifax. That ruling comes after 12 witnesses testified in today's hearing, including the teenager. Ralph Yarl was shot in the head on Andrew Lester's front porch in April. Yarl went to the wrong house after confusing the address with a home nearby where his younger siblings waited for him to pick them up. In court, neighbors recalled hearing hysterical screaming and Yarl begging for help. Fox Force Malik Jackson was in the courtroom this afternoon as Yarl testified about that night. I think it's fair to say that night for Ralph Yarl was one of terror and he relived these moments that ended with a brain bleed and a skull fracture. We did hear a lot of evidence, including seeing new pictures of the crime scene the night that Andrew Lester shot Ralph Yarl. 12 witnesses took the stand, all 12 there the night then 16 year old Ralph Yarl was shot. But there was one person everyone wanted to hear from, and that is now 17 year old Ralph Yarl. He has come so far and I'm happy that he did. I'm proud of him. The teen replaying not only what happened that night, but the effects the incident has had on his life. The state making it clear there is more than enough evidence that Andrew Lester acted unreasonably, while the defense tried their best to poke holes in his story, saying that at times his story has changed. For example, did he or did he not touch the storm door knob? Something now he says he did do. But in the end, the judge making a decision quickly that this case must proceed forward to trial. The race is about to start. Let's put our shoes on because we have a long road ahead of us. I mean, it's going to take a lot of preparation we, uh, now and then. But um, again, we're talking about a probable cause finding, which is much lower than a beyond a reasonable doubt. So I think the state's going to have a lot harder time uh, convicting him. This hearing lasting for six hours. So there is a lot of evidence to pour through for a full breakdown of what happened in court today. You can click on this story at fox4kc.com. Andrew Lester is set to be back in court on September 20th, and that is when we expect to learn a trial date. In Clay County, I'm Malik Jackson, Fox 4, working for you.